Well, what's going on guys, Simply Pops here, and Apple has finally released iOS 16 to the general public. Now this is still in beta, so be aware of all the glitches and all the bugs that you may encounter, such as app crashes, especially onto the Apple Music app, keyboard disappearing sometimes, so just be aware of all the glitches that may happen, but as the betas go along, it is getting better and better. But nonetheless, iOS 16 is one of those updates that I just cannot go back to iOS 15. We have the brand new lock screen, as you guys can see, we have the widgets, the new font to the clock on the top and you can be able to quickly change your lock screen on the fly really cool you have vibration on the keyboard which is very satisfying to use the keyboard so many cool features but nonetheless let me show you guys how to install ios 16. now first things first before i do anything i want to change my screen protector um, i'm gonna throw a link in the description to this if you happen to need a screen protector this one here is all cracked up now so just i'll be right back Now your phone is like brand spanking new. You're playing yourself if you don't have a screen protector on your phone. I recommend the one from Field Lab. Aha, good as new. Couple of air bubbles here on the side, but that will fade away. I thought the description to that screen protector, I was long overdue to replace it and it just came in the mail today. Now, the first thing you wanna do, you wanna take it over to the link in the description. Uh, you wanna go to beta.apple.com and you wanna go down until you see sign up. Now, this is 100% free, the public beta is free. And you wanna tap up sign up and it's gonna ask for your Apple ID here when you, if you wanna sign in. Tap on continue, authenticate with face ID or touch ID, and then you're presented with uh, the betas. So you have iOS, iPad OS, um, and you also have Mac OS, TV OS. I'm not sure what's new for TV OS 16. Uh, maybe I might try it out or something like that, but you have all the betas here intact. But for the sake of this video, we have iOS 16, and you wanna enroll your device. So you wanna tap on enroll iOS device, and then you're presented with the beta profile. So I highly recommend you guys have a backup handy. I cannot stress this enough. So many people out here running around with the iPhones without a backup. Always back up your data. This is the most important step of them all. If you don't back up and the installation fails, then you're gonna be put into a boot loop and then you, you gotta revert back into the, and then you have to restore your device, delete all the data, and then you don't have a backup. So make sure you create a backup. I highly recommend you create a backup through iTunes or the Finder just to save on iCloud storage. Once you, once you have a backup handy, you can download the profile by tapping on download profile. You're gonna see a pop-up message. You wanna tap on allow. You wanna close that. You wanna take it over to the uh, settings app. And then you wanna go all the way down into general, down again, VPN and device management. And I already have the developer uh, beta pro. <laughs> I already have the developer beta installed, but you're gonna see something that says uh, iOS 16 software profile. Is it that one? Or is it this one? I think it's this one. You're gonna see one, you're gonna see a new profile there. You wanna tap on install, enter in your passcode, and then your device is gonna reset. But since I'm already on iOS 16, I'm already gonna see iOS 16. So once your device resets, you wanna take it back into the settings. You wanna go into general, software update, and then now you can be able to see iOS 16 uh, developer three. Now, I unfortunately am gonna have to update again, fixing more bugs, um, and, and yeah, that's how you do it. So the difference between the developer beta three and the public beta one, this is basically the same thing, but the public beta is open to the public. And I'm actually gonna download and install this so I'm ready. And you're gonna probably see something like this. We're gonna use cellular data. There's nothing wrong with iOS 16. It is a bit buggy, but it is so much better to use than iOS 15. I love the abilities to add stops onto the maps to be able to, um, to be able to customize your home screen and lock screen very fluently. And then you even have new features such as lockdown mode, enhancing the security even further. And that's basically it, just a simple video. I just wanna show you guys how to install iOS 16 beta. 
Um, I've been getting a lot of comments saying, yo, where's the link? Where's the link? How you install it? How you install it? This is the video that you want to follow. Um, and like I said, I highly encourage you guys to install iOS 16 on a secondary device just because of the bugs and glitches. But other than that, iOS 16 is pretty cool. I love the fact how you can unlock your iPhone uh, via landscape. Absolutely love the customization to the home screen and lock screen to be able to add blur. So you, let me show you guys this. So I can have a blur. I can add a filter so many customization options it's actually pretty incredible and same applies to ipad os pretty much you download the profile and you could be able to install it just like ios mac os is a little bit of a ball game a little different but i'm not even going to be covering that and so on and so forth here thank you guys so much for watching if you guys found this one helpful i'd appreciate it with a thumbs up comment down below are you going to be installing ios 16 beta make sure you guys check out my other ios 16 and ipad os 16 videos for more information and until next time guys i hope you guys have a simple day peace